Shoplifting is nothing new, but president of Giant Food, Ira Kress, says the trend he's seeing now is like nothing he's seen in his nearly four decades of work. The level of theft and the level of violence associated with the theft have probably increased five to ten times in the last three years. Kress says more often than not, there are organized crime groups that are targeting stores and taking multiple items at once. It is for profit, plain and simple. Uh, these are organized retail crime groups or individuals who are stealing product en masse. As a result, Giant has hired more security guards, reduced store hours, shut down secondary entrances, and put some items in lockboxes. We've locked down baby formula, and we've locked down razor blades, and we have some stores that have locked down specific types of soap uh, or deodorants or air fresheners. Uh, some products are more monetizable than others. A tragic example of these instances escalating took place here at this giant in Oxon Hill in November when police say a giant security guard was shot by an alleged shoplifter. The security guard fired back and both people ended up dying. It shouldn't occur. Um, no one should go into a grocery store and not leave it alive. No one. And it's not a problem that's only impacting Giant. The National Retail Federation recently told the News 4 I-Team and consumer investigative reporter Susan Hogan that retailers have seen an 80% increase in violence associated with retail crime since the pandemic. It's very difficult to, to ask your employees to step into harm's way because not only are they, are they endangering themselves, if, if there is a weapon involved, they're endangering all the consumers who are in that store. As for Cress, he believes stricter penalties need to be imposed on those committing the crimes. Absent those tougher laws, absent the application of those laws and the enforcement of those laws, we continue to see crime escalate and violence escalate. Mauricio Casillas, News 4. According to the National Association for Shoplifting Prevention, this type of crime costs stores more than $45 million per day.